as promised, I am here. I'm still at uh, Coffee Matters USA. And did you really think I was just going to drink the coffee? No. So I'm doing two things. I did a beverage, a cocktail, which is a spin off of this beverage or cocktail called Old Fashioned, right? And then I created this really nice sauce. I love making sauces and I love to manipulate flavors, right? right. So Jimmy gave me some of the coffee and I was playing around. Coco was in the lab. Mm -hmm. You know all you need is a little dash of her, right? So we have some chicken here. But what I'm going to do, I created this sauce from the coffee. Mm -hmm, I did. So we'll go ahead and just give a base on our plates. And don't worry, you know I'm going to give you uh, all of the recipes and the little tricks that I have. And then we're just going to go ahead and plate them up. Okay, so simple plate up. I can do a little drizzle. Just a little drizzle on top. And something that's really, really good with um, coffee, fruits. Because coffee is a fruit, right? You can pair it up. So I have a little bit of citrus here. And then I'm just going to zest the orange a little. And I'm zesting it so that it's easier on the palate for the guests. And then I have some microgreens. These microgreens are amazing. I got them from one of our vendors. Um, and that show is coming up pretty soon. So I won't give you the name right now. But I have a combo of mustard and kale. And believe me, each of them tastes just the way they're supposed to. So we take a little bit of the microgreens and just kind of like drizzle on top. Just a little. Simple, simple, simple. Two guests, you saw them on camera, but why not feed them right with their own coffee? So come on in, Ariana. Well, first we have Joel. Thank you. What happened to ladies first? She can look that good. She can look that good, Daddy. You know. Thank you. So you have that nice sauce right there, right? And notice the sauce isn't running anywhere. It's staying put. That's the sign of a good sauce. We call it nappe. See how I coats the mouth with a spoon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play with this little drink here. How do you like it? Mm. Yeah? It's <laughs> so good. I eat a lot of wings and I've never tasted anything like this. This is really unique and interesting. Tell us what you're tasting. Mm. It's a first time. And you try a sauce with coffee, it's very good. You right. feel the, the coffee and the other. But it's not overpowering. It's no, no. no. It's very right? balanced. Mm -hmm. The orange zest was a wonderful touch. Mm. I can smell it before smell I taste it. it. Yeah. It's really nice. Because here's very thing. fresh. We mm -hmm. eat with our eyes, we, we hear the food cooking, and of course we smell it, right? So coffee is very pungent. So I figured. Why not add um, the zest of the, the orange to release the oils? So now what I'm going to do is create, you like it? No. Let's <laughs> create a beverage, a cocktail. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. All right. Now this is their coffee again, same coffee. Geisha from Immaculada. Say that again, please. It's a Geisha coffee from Finca Immaculada. 
It's a geisha coffee from Think Feller and Martiniano. <laughs> exactly. Yes, baby. Exactly. Yes. Close enough, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I also made, what did I did, I brewed the coffee and then chilled it. And then I made some simple syrup. This is just equal parts water and sugar. And this can be used for a variety of different things. You can keep this in your cooler. But of course, right now, I'm using it for the drink. Listen, I know just wing this, right? The vision and me say, just go ahead and, and, and wing it because you know we cook from in here. But don't worry, I'll have the recipes for you. You have to, um, you know, click on there and, and what do we say? You come on in and enjoy this dash of cocoa. Look. Hmm. Ah, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit. A little something, something there. And we put this here. And I am just going to back up all those flavors with some Jack Daniels. This is Tennessee honey. Honey and coffee? Come on now. We can't go wrong. Okay, I'll measure this. And a little bit. <laughs> right? Okay. So, again, I'm going to, I can do the zest here. But here's what I'm going to do. I already have some glasses with ice. Here's that orange again. So I use this little tool right here, and I'll show all of this to you close up. And then what you do is you want to release the oils. So I'm just spiraling them and dropping them right in. You can do about two for each one. You like it? some zest. So now, <laughs> you can do this in a um, martini shake or two. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay, so here we go. some brown sugar. Mm -hmm. well, let me sit it right on the top. Put it in the cooler. Because maybe you'll have you're having a party or some friends coming over. Uh-huh. Just like that. Very nice, yeah. Let's see. Hmm. So you, you just play, you know? And this time. Ladies first. Ladies. You can stir it up a little bit there. Yeah. Like a book of the um And yes, you can Thank there you. you go. Use that oh, stir. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like mm -hmm. it? <laughs> Coco better go into mixology, I think. <laughs> Come back in here. Okay. Isn't it Oriana? Mm. Nice. You like that? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Chef, I give you a seat. <laughs> Salute. What about you? Oh, I'm going to do a shot. <laughs> nice. Wow. Now. Yeah. Now let's do wow, this. I can have a couple of these. This is, uh -huh. Yeah. That's good stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm going to work something weak. I, I need a name for it. I mean, mm -hmm. A little dash of cocoa. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, this is. Ooh. Really nice. The coffee yeah. is all nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. You can add a little bit more liqueur if you want. Creamy. It's nice and balanced. Yeah. You better say it. What about? What do you Sweet. think about the brown sugar and and butter? 
I'm loving that's actually that's amazing that's good, ingredient. Yeah. Because I think it's a very nice sauce. Everything is very complementary, mm -hmm. complementing each other, mm -hmm. all the ingredients. So it's very good. Now you're probably saying, why butter? Why not? <laughs> 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 it just, you know, I cook from right here. And I just felt like, okay, it's nice. The color is deep, like sugar, right? I had some brown sugar, and I really needed something to stick mm -hmm. <laughs> so the sugar would stick. Um, I didn't want to use the simple syrup um, reduced all the way down, so I said, wait a minute, that buttery taste with the, um, the whiskey and then the coffee right on your tongue, all right? Nice new button. Okay, so. Like I said, it's, um, I just want to thank them for having a dash of cocoa. This is our second episode uh, on YouTube, and I look forward to doing so many more things, but even more so bringing to you so many other people like Jimmy and his staff here. Um, but the one thing I want you to walk away with, well, don't walk too far because we want you to come back for the next episode, mm -hmm. but Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you want to do in life, get the noise out your head, not even the people that surround you saying maybe you can't do it. You know deep inside you were shown a little glimpse, and that's all you need. Grab hold of that little glimpse. I did. Jimmy did. They did, right? And now we're standing in someone's dream. I'm living my dream, and they became a part of it, right? Because, listen, I know I'm going to have a show. So... Here's to you guys. I think I need a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to share, but this is too good to share. Yeah. So, here's to everything grand. And thank you all for watching. Continue to watch and subscribe. Here's to dreaming, dreaming and living yeah. the dream until it becomes reality. Cheers. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Gracias por venir. What he said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Talk about coffee matters. Oh, look at this. So these are, what's the size of these? Well, these actually are 154 pounds. Mm -hmm. They are uh, 70 kilos. And as you can see, the number three is the country where they come from, Colombia. Okay. okay. This is the exporter number, and this is the lab number. Okay. So this is lab 44, that's lab 63 over there. So we have different lads in here. This is yes. Finca La Immaculada. Over there we have Amativo Coffee, and right here we got Finca Pentola. My goodness. In the back we got Peruvian Coffee, and also we got Honduras Coffee. We have Organic uh, Specialty. Uh, and as you can see, this is really coffee spirit. This is amazing. So Roasting a local legend. Coco, Chef Coco. Chef nice Coco. to meet you, Luis. Let me see what you have there. Uh, this is um, Peruvian coffee that we're going to be roasting after this one. Oh. Yes. All the way from Miami. Oh. She's doing a project in Miami. And she's coming to Miami. Miami. From Venezuela. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. My boy Joel is Hi. Hello. So. Brennan. And Brennan. So tell us about this machine. This is the coffee roaster manufacturer Diedrich. They're based in Idaho. All right. American made. Um, it's just a very standard coffee roaster. They've been in business for a number of decades. Uh, coffee goes in up here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a dryer, like a clothes dryer. Okay. You can see there's a drum yes. spinning around, and there's heating elements underneath okay. the dryer that are heating up the drum, Beautiful. which heats up the coffee, and that's what roasts it. So awesome, awesome. When the time and temperature is right, we'll open this door, the coffee will oh. fall out. And this is a cooling bin. It'll start to cool the coffee off. It'll okay. bring it down to temperature. Lovely. So, yeah. All right. So, so guys, it smells amazing in here. I mean, simply amazing. Ooh, Coco is in the coffee house. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like a little kid that wants to climb on top. Yeah. They tell me I, I can climb on top. I better not. You should climb on top. Like we do it all the time. We go to the top. I, I, jumps. I'll take a picture. We got different processes to brew the coffee. We got a cold brew tower. We got a nitro machine from Banomatic. 
We got an automatic espresso machine for those customers that use that machine. This is a sparkling water. You know, it's, you know when we taste okay. coffee from one to the other one, yes. we drink a sparkling water, a sparkling water just to clean the palate. Yes. yes. This is a, a sample roaster. Mm -hmm. You know, we got a lot of green samples here. Excuse me, Bo. Sorry, Bo. So we get we get a sample here. Okay. The sample comes with this is the this is the farm. Mm -hmm. This is the country. Mm -hmm. This is the the varietal. And this is what we can expect from the coffee. Okay. Some people put flavor notes, some people don't put flavor notes, so you can, you know, not be motivated by what they say. But for example, this one, mm -hmm. they give you the cupping score, which is 87. Okay. And the flavor notes to be cocoa, berry, and honey. Mm. Okay? So can we I do. Smell it? Sure. Mm. And then Very over earthy. here, we just sample roast the coffee. Yes. And then when we, with, with the sample roast is done, we wait for about one or two days, mm -hmm. and then we cup the coffee among all of us to formulate one opinion. Awesome. And we have a grinder. Mm -hmm. We have brewers that we use sometimes to brew for events and for people that we have with coffee. Okay. Uh, different yes. uh, machines, uh, distributors, let us use their machines for us okay. also to give them feedback and see how the technology that they right. produce is working. And that's a great way of just the way our industry works, you know yes. what I mean? We we collaborate a lot with vendors and um, you get an opportunity to get some free product. <laughs> exactly, well they didn't give it to me for free, but they let me use it. Well, and then when I return, it. that's a I good thing too. Clean it. Okay. You know, Beautiful. as a sign of like honor, yes. when they roast the coffee, they give it to us. This is different brands in the United States that buy our coffees. So okay. this is the lab coffee from Tampa. They buy this organic Peruvian coffee, uh -huh. and then they just, they do put their, their own notes. So this company is here in Tampa? This one is here in Tampa, okay. yes. Very good. Yeah, this one is in Tampa also. EVA. Okay, so we got a nice little tour of Coffee Matters USA here in Tampa in Oldsmar, Florida. Still a suburb of Tampa. So have a sip of coffee. And you know what? You stay tuned because on the bottom, don't forget to subscribe, but also we'll give you the information for Coffee Matters USA. It's really amazing.